Welcome back to Exquisitely Aligned. You may be on your path to having it all, the house, family, money, and world travel, when suddenly something shatters your ideal world. It shifts your perspective. You're grateful for all that you have, yet you realize or maybe even decide having it all isn't all that. It may leave you feeling unhappy, unsatisfied, or unfulfilled. You're left wanting something even more fulfilling, but you can't quite put it into words. Others, they just don't get it. They try to pacify you. And that, well, that may leave you feeling guilty for wanting more. I get it. I've stood in your shoes. Hi, I'm Gina, your life artist. Today, we'll be discussing the art of creating beauty through travel and exploration, part two of two. Are you a wanderlust? I asked you that last week, with a strong desire to explore the world. Do you delight in new experiences? And last week, I told you, if you said yes, this is for you. I also told you, if you said no, this is for you as well. I want to inspire you to enjoy all the benefits that traveling has to offer. Last episode, I listed all eight benefits, and I'd like to quickly do that again. We started last week with number one, less stress, heart attack, and depression. Number two, sharpen your mind. Number three, expand your perspective. Number four, connect with friends old and new. And this episode, we're starting with number five, experiencing the real deal. Number six, movement. Some people call it exercise. Number seven, vitamin D, vitamin C, and mother nature. And number eight, reconnecting with your truths and desires. So I told you we're going to start with number five and go deep into each of them. Number five, experiencing the real deal. Seeing firsthand how others live, love, eat, play, that's really what life's about, isn't it? It truly helps us appreciate and admire other cultures. We easily and quickly feel how we are connected in this one world. Have you ever heard the term world schooling? Do you know what it means? World schooling is one of the best ways to educate your kids and I believe yourself. Travel is our way of educating our children and Mark and I. There are opportunities for geography, history, cultural lessons, not to forget architecture and design. We try to chat with locals about their lifestyle, their concerns, and the cool insider things that most people don't know about them or their country. Since our children are still in school, we ask questions about school systems. Does every child get the opportunity to go to school? Is it private? Is it public? Do they have to wear uniforms? What are their vacations and schedules like? For us, travel is priceless. You see, we meet fantastic people enjoy tasting new foods, seeing new landscapes, and experiencing new cultures. All of this enriches our lives individually and then as a family. It is time for the four of us to reconnect. We learn more about each other. We create lasting impressions and joy. And this happens year after year. We cherish our photos, our videos, the little trinkets. They spark memories and laughter. I believe that as more people travel abroad and experience other cultures, Mm -hmm. the world can enjoy even more peace. What's stopping you from traveling? If you answered, not enough time, I own my own business, or not enough money, I am working my way up the ladder, well, then I recommend that you watch The Art of Creating Beauty with your resources. In there, I discuss time, money, and energy. And there might be a tip or two, or maybe a few, in there just for you. Mark and I, we decided early on that we wanted to travel while we are young and healthy. 
so we can easily walk for miles on the cobblestone streets of Italy, as long as I don't have my heels on, right? Or climb on and off a boat for a sunset cruise in Maui. Does fear or terrorism hold you back? If so, you might be interested in knowing this fascinating fact. Besides what the media will tell you, we are truly living in one of the safest times in histories. We're no longer living behind walled cities with cannons ready to be fired. I'm hoping we can both agree, immersing ourselves in the experience is more interesting and thrilling and more memorable than watching a video or reading about it. Let's move on. But first, let's talk about what it means to work at home these days, just in case you're one of those people working at home. When we work from home, we are more likely to be spending more time at our desk. It's true. When my hubby started working from home, his boss warned him. You see, I'm guessing it has to do with not having to commute. <laughs> we feel a bit guilty that we end up spending a little extra time at our desk. But then that little extra becomes a little more and a little more. You know what I mean? And before you know it, you've become kind of chained to that desk. And when that happens, you are missing out on number six, movement or walking, exercise. And when you're missing out on walking to the car, to the train, to the office, you are missing out on the first part of number seven, which is vitamin D. So let's discuss movement first. I love that more and more people are tracking their steps. You can see I don't have my tracker on, but it's a blessing. It really helps us stay, on, stay or get healthy. And that's priceless. When we travel, we are more likely to be moving around, walking on the beach if you're on a beach vacation, taking in the sights of a new city if you're touring a city, hiking up a mountain, Repelling down a waterfall. Well, that's a story for another episode. Yeah, that's definitely for another episode. So we are more likely to get in possibly maybe two to three times the amount of steps we normally would. Sometimes four for us. And that's healthy, especially if you're indulging in a cannoli while walking in Italy. Now, let's talk about your luggage. I don't know if you're like my hubby, who manages to get his clothing, shoes, etc., into a tiny carry-on, or if you're more like me, who needs a very large garment bag and just a little bit of room in his carry-on bag, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm hoping you know what I mean. I think as women, we might just need a few more items. At least that's what I've been claiming for 23 years of marriage, and it seems to be working. Well, I think about how lucky we are to be lugging that stuff around, lifting it into the, the uh, compartment over our seat. It's like lifting weights. And then if we decide to go shopping while we're on our vacation, we are more likely to be e lifting even more weights. You see how this all benefits us, wink, wink. So travel and get in even better shape. Let's move to vitamin D and then we'll go to vitamin C, not to be mistaken with the letter C from oranges, I'm talking about vitamin C, S-E-A, like the ocean. And then we'll jump into spending time in the great outdoors being nourished by mother nature. So we talked about working from home and not having to spend time outdoors commuting to arrive at our desk. With this, we are missing out on those few minutes that then add up over time to give us healthy doses of vitamin D. A recent study showed healthy sun exposure, notice I did say healthy, can cut down on the risk of breast cancer. 
You heard me right. Another study showed a common link. Patients with vitamin D deficiency are more likely to suffer from Parkinson's, bone disease, blood clots, diabetes, heart disease, and high blood pressure. That's a long list. As a recently diagnosed Hashimoto thyroid patient, I know firsthand the healthy benefits of healthy doses of sun. I, because I work at home, try to take my lunch outdoors in the yard. It's a great way for me to soak up the warmth of the sun and take in the views and a little vitamin D. That's a perfect segue into mother nature. So let's go there. From the mountains to the caves to the seashores, mother nature has it all and it's beautiful and glorious and healthy. I love being outdoors and always have. Well, let me clarify that statement. I love being in the warm outdoors while being awake. I'm not camping. I'm not one to go camping in Alaska in the winter. So please don't invite me because I'll feel bad saying no. <laughs> when we take a vacation, we typically are more likely to spend even more time outdoors. I hope you would agree with that statement. Let me share a few fun facts with you about what that could mean. And my hopes are to inspire you to spend more time outdoors, whether you're on vacation or not. While on vacation, we are often more likely to be spending time outdoors. Maybe we're visiting the Grand Canyon or climbing Machu Picchu. Either way, we are submersing ourselves in the grandeur of nature, her simplicity, her imperfectness, that is magically perfect, isn't it? There's no perfect tree. They're organic, right? They are imbalanced. They are unique and beautifully stunning and perfect all at the same time. They are exquisite. There is a certain energy or vibe, I like to say, that we feel while in nature. It's a healing vibe like that of a mother, right? An energy of support, nurturing, and it's free. Mental healing is right outside our door. Did you know that studies show that people who live close to green spaces or natural areas are less likely, less likely to suffer from depression and anxiety? So can you see how taking a trip and spending time outdoors is really a way of investing in your mental health? It's also been shown that spending time in the woods hiking has proven to lower cholesterol levels, heart rate, blood pressure, stress levels, and improve our heart health. I don't often spend time in the woods but I may just have to start. Years ago, I read somewhere the term nature deficient disorder. I particularly loved it then and now because it makes me laugh. It strikes a chord. The article was talking about children and adults who suffer from ADD and ADHD. It was stating that those patients, no matter their age, saw improvements when they spent time in nature. Think about that for a moment. So if you or your loved one is suffering with ADD or ADHD, you may want to plan an outdoor excursion. Give it a whirl. Let's talk about sleep. There are so many people struggling to sleep well. It's a big industry of pills, oils, you name it. It's such a problem that my husband is now studying it for his business. You see, sleep is not just about feeling rested and clear-minded. They have proven that lack of sleep has been also noted for higher risk of weight gain and morbidity. I'm not here to depress you, 
So let me jump right into the better part of that. Spending time outdoors in the fresh air and sunshine has been noted for improving our sleep. Don't you find you and your loved ones sleep better when you spend time outdoors? We certainly do. Okay, now my favorite, vitamin C, S-E-A, like the ocean. I did a lot of research several years ago and I went digging to see if I could pull it back out and I couldn't, but I did a lot of research on spending time at the ocean, the shores. You see, because it's one of my passions, it's part of my human design. Unfortunately, I don't recall all the stats that I learned, but I'm going to share with you the gist of it. The study found that people who live near the ocean live longer than those who don't. And I believe it was something like four to seven years longer. I think that it was seven years longer for men and four for women, but don't hold me to it. It might be the other way. So now can you understand why waterfront property is at a premium? In this study, they believed this was true because people were more likely to spend time outside and being active. Think about the things that you do when you go to the beach, walking in the sand, maybe paddle boarding like my husband and I, swimming, you get the picture, parasailing, I don't know what you love to do. All those things allow you to get more healthy sun exposure. They also noted that they are more likely to enjoy eating more fresh, wild-caught fish. We just got back from Maui ourselves, and I would say all of those things were true for the two of us. One thing I found amazing had to do with the waves. Well, kind of the rhythm of the waves, the ebb and flow. Sure, they've sold sound machines even when I was a kid. I don't know if it's still a thing, because now I guess you could pull it up on YouTube on iTunes, right? But did you know they found that heart patients with abnormal rhythms did better when they spent time by the shores? The sounds of the waves lapping against the shore, that rhythm, that ebb and flow that Mother Nature provides, it allows the heart to reconnect to a healthy beat. Those patients returned to a natural, healthy rhythm. Now that's impressive. I love that. Number eight, probably my favorite, reconnect to your truths and your desires. Traveling really is an investment in our time, with our time, our money, and our energy, our precious resources. It's an investment in ourself. Let me repeat that. When you travel, it's an investment in yourself. It nourishes and enriches your body, mind, and soul. By changing your environment, escaping the everyday, that mundane schedule, and giving yourself the space you desire, you're more likely to connect with your desires and your truths. Because remember, you are more relaxed. Life is no longer controlling you. You are more likely to have planned a vacation to somewhere you desire, placing yourself in the surroundings that support your dreams and aspirations, placing you with like-hearted, like-minded people who will inspire you along your journey in life. You've opened yourself up to new possibilities and those possibilities, they feed your senses. They encourage you to be courageous, to Take steps to reconnect with your purpose. You leave the rigidity of what you think you're supposed to be doing to be and become an even more beautiful life. You see how other people live and possibly become inspired to a new way of experiencing your life, taking in the views the colors, the clothing, it's all like eye candy to me. We return creative. And that's where you create beauty in every aspect of your life. 
you're no longer likely to accept mundane thoughts and mediocrity. You're fueled, inspired. You're a glow. You remember what causes your heart to beat. It's those desires, those heartfelt desires for even more. You're even more fulfilling and meaningful life, one that's richer and deeper. You realize life should not be over schedule. You realize you need to create more space and devote more resources to doing the things that truly bring you that feeling of being alive. And that's what the art of creating beauty in your life is all about. It's about you living exquisitely. Travel just may be your new remedy. You'll return home with new insights. There's something to be said about immersing yourself in new environments. The benefits, they're never ending. I only listed eight. Here are the eight that we went over. Less stress, heart attack, and depression. Sharpening your mind. Expanding your perspective. Connecting with friends new and old. Experiencing and immersing yourself in the real deal. Movement or exercise. Vitamin D, vitamin C, and mother nature. And reconnecting with your truths and your desires. And don't forget that energetic exchange. As we invest our time, money, and energy in planning and traveling, you are truly investing in yourself, your health, your well-being, your mental health, and inspiring your soul, which in turn inspires you. And that is beautiful. So think about your desires. Where would you like to venture to? Where would you really like to venture to? Dream bigger. And begin being intentional about your resources. And before you know it, you'll be on your way. If you are busting at your seams, ready to create your even more beautiful life and want to see if we're a match, connect with me because this is exactly what I do. I help you discover what's next. I help you reconnect to who you've always been. And I help show you how to create the beauty you desire and the beauty I believe you deserve. Because I know beauty is super fuel. It is. It is will enrich your life. It will inspire you to be the truest version of yourself, no matter what is going on in the background. And that's what my work is all about, helping you discover that missing piece, even if your life is imperfect, and allowing you to live and experience life differently in a richer, deeper an even more meaningful way, a life that has even more of what you desire and deserve, things that make you healthier and happier. Because beauty is super fuel. It fuels you to become exactly what you see missing in the world. And that's life-changing, not just for you, but for everyone you come in contact with. So if you're ready to create even more beauty in your life, connect with me, contact me. I might have something that works for you. Until next time, pack your bags, plan your vacation, and be even more exquisite.